So far, all, we, uh, all we've seen is rhetoric. Uh, we saw the New Year's uh, address, which uh, some analysts um, said was a signal that they were committed to uh, economic reform. Uh, we've heard noises from North Korea of an interest in reform. Um, uh, we hope that North Korea ultimately chooses to reform its, uh, its economy and reform its policy and to step away from, as I've said, uh, denuclearization and threats to its neighbors. Um, uh, right now, though, as I've said, there's no evidence that they're, they're, they're actually engaged in anything. And we have pointed out that uh, we will always judge North Korea by its actions, uh, not by its words. Uh, and we have expressed the hope that uh, ultimately the lives of the North Korean people can be improved. The most recent signal that we've seen from North Korea is particularly troubling because they seem to be linking um, the United Nations action, uh, uh, the unanimous adoption by 16 nations of Resolution 2087 uh, to uh, their um, uh, economic situation by signaling to their people and to the world that they can't go forward with economic reform as long as they uh, are facing, as they put it, uh, a hostile uh, response from the rest of the world. Of course, the rest of the world is not seeking to convey a hostile message to North Korea. The rest of the world is simply trying, trying to enforce the rules of the international system. North Korea, by placing itself outside of those rules, makes it uh, uh, really impossible for us to contemplate any kind of a normalized relationship with North Korea. Uh, so uh, it, it's the sad truth that uh, the big losers from North Korea's uh, continued provocations, uh, I think, are going to be the people of North Korea uh, who won't have the benefit uh, of reform, who won't have the benefit uh, of opening uh, by uh, the government. Um, and certainly, um, uh, this, uh, the six-party process that we would uh, uh, have hoped to have restarted um, uh, is put off uh, indefinitely while we have now to deal with these threats from North Korea. The, the threats to their neighbors, the threats to explode uh, another nuclear device, the renewed commitment they've made to continue to launch ever more powerful rockets. Uh, none of this is conducive to peace and stability in the region. None of this is conducive to um, a North Korea that would be part of the international system. All of this makes it um, very, very difficult for uh, the other members of the six-party process and indeed the entire international community uh, to find a way uh, forward uh, on the North Korean issues um, that, can, um, uh, that can benefit the people of North Korea. So for us, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's one of the real uh, difficult aspects of this situation uh, is how uh, to help the North Korean people lead a, a better life uh, and we call on Kim Jong-un and we call on his government um, to put their people first, to educate their people, feed their people, turn away from uh, the expenditure of vast sums of money on these weapons, these missile systems, these nuclear tests, and come back into the international system, live up to their commitments, abide by the uh, word of the United Nations Security Council, if they do that, if they make that choice and that choice is open to them, uh, then a very different future is possible.